Good morning, Cecile. Good morning, Sandra. Hey, Bob Guinan. Good morning. Good morning. Kristen, how are you? Good morning. Good morning, Gail. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Bob Guinan. Hope you are well. Good morning. Good morning, Kristen. I have, uh, I have the, uh, my, uh, God bless. Oh, excellent. I am so glad the pain is going. That is great news, Vicki. I have my, uh, my, um, good morning, Irene. Good morning, Priscilla. The God bless her spirit. Good morning, Fanny Faye Davis. And it, uh, on the rim, I love this cup. Because, uh, that is one of my, uh, it, it says, She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called happy. Proverbs 3.18. It is, uh, and, and the she is, uh, is considered uh, wisdom. That is, wisdom is, in the Old Testament, it's not something that, uh, it's kind of the entity that we pursue. It's a, it's a great little mug. Good, I'm glad you're well, Bob. That is good to hear. Good morning, John. Hello, Sharon. Great to see you. Gail, great. Welcome, welcome. It is so great to see folks gathering in. That uh, that the proverb, the proverb is uh, proverb three eighteen. Hey, good morning, Andy. Great to have you with us. So glad you're here. It is a joy this morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? So, yeah, we should have a we should have a coffee mug day. That uh, if you send me pictures of your coffee mug in the chat, I will uh, will post them. We can uh, we can see uh, what uh, what libations we are we're all finding our way to getting us through this. I don't. I, I'm not asking what's in the coffee cup. Just that you put the thing up there. That's all. It's no. It's, it's no judgment here. So, good morning. Good morning, Larry Laverty. So good to see you, my brother. I hope you are well. Hello, hello, everybody. It is great to see folks come on in. Good morning, everyone. It is so nice to see us gather. That uh, it is uh, so welcome. This it is eleven minutes at eleven eleven at on at uh, the twelfth day of May this Tuesday that we find ourselves in. And so welcome. There is it is a beautiful day. We have some sunshine. We have some glory in it. So we have a we have a much to be thankful for. So this morning I want to uh, that uh, um, my hope was if anybody has uh, I'm just looking through the chat here like if anybody has seen uh, as a reminder we are going to, good morning Irene great to see you that we are going to uh, we're gonna sing happy birthday to uh sue here today uh but and and this this uh you know as is our tradition that if we gather and uh it is your birthday and you're here we will sing to you uh and so we are going to we're going to sing to her uh um whether she's here in this chat or whether she you know i i we made a promise yesterday that this was going to happen so whether she catches it in recorded form or we get her live we're going to get her today but this made me begin to believe think and begin to see good morning yvette that uh, how all of these hallmarks that we are we are putting in our life that uh, that are keep uh, drifting away that the normal way in which we would come together to gather and celebrate Susan's birthday for instance or to celebrate graduations that are coming up so I'm curious if there are ones in the chat that you this these rituals of our days um, these kind of human rules that we are keeping these days uh, that are that are please throw them up in the chat because I'm curious to see what it is that that you might be feel like you're missing 
uh, in these days. So, uh, you know, let, let us know what did it, what, the, what are those things that you, uh, you wish you were having in these days. And I, I'm going to read this. This is from, this is from, uh, Paul's letter to the Colossians. So, uh, so the, the church in Colossus, which is, yep, there was, a, it was a place Colossus, uh, and that, that around it are actually many of the places that were mentioned in Revelation. It's the place that Laodicea was, where there's a whole letter there too. And Paul is writing to this church because it's this church that is, uh, again, it's it's smack dab in the middle of this of this really diverse culture, diverse in a way we can't even imagine. Pagan, Christian, different people from all different ways, and that this church is coming together and it is becoming this melding pot of all of these different rules and ways and ways of moving to the world. And so Paul writes this. He's talking about uh, where he says, therefore. Do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink or with regard to the religious festivals, whether you keep a new moon celebration or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of things that were were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and to worship of angels disqualify you. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They are puffed up with idle notions of their unspiritual mind. They have lost connection with the head from whom the whole body supported and held together by its ligaments and sinews grows as God causes it to grow. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, why, as though you still belong to this world, do you submit to its rules? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch these rules which have to do with things that are all destined to perish with use are based on merely human commands and teachings such regulations indeed have an appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship with their false humility and their harsh treatment of the body but they lack any value in restraining indulgence good morning gang good morning good morning Good morning, Linda. Hey, Irene. Good morning. That we and we're so. Good morning, Donna. These words from Paul are all about these the festivals. Like, what festivals are we keeping? And we're in this. We're in a in the era right now of not keeping festivals. Where no matter that uh, that. Um, just talking about, you know, Fall River, our city is, you know, it is a festival city, whether it's the Portuguese festival or the Greek festival, or the Lebanese festival, like there's all of the, it is, it is, it is that summertime in Fall River is festival time. And we are going to be without these festivals. We're going to be without graduations where, as we're talking about, even, even the way Sue is, has been marking in her birthday uh, is different for sure. But this whole notion, hey, good morning, Robin. This whole notion that, you know, that, and, and, and we think that like, oh, it, you know, don't worry about these rules is kind of this release of, um, from that, that Paul is giving, but it's not because see, there's 300 and, and 613 rules in the, I know I'm getting technical today. I don't know what's going on with that, but we're, trust me, I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. That, uh, there are 613 rules in the, in Judaism. Now, not all the rules are like, you know, are, are like, you know, insert the nickel here to get the thing over there. It's, they're not all these, these uh, harsh keeping difficult rules. Actually, many of them are rejoicing rules. What, like one of the rules is that it is a good deed. It is a, it is a mitzvah to uh, party like a rock star at a wedding. Isn't that great? Like if you can go to a wedding and you can get your groove on and get your jam on and you can rejoice with the fullness of love for the couple that is there, that is a good deed before the Lord. Like in in the in the Jewish uh, panoply of understanding and and all of these and Paul's saying even more that the, all these things that all these secular ways that we come to celebrate all these all these other ways that we come to celebrate all of them, all of them. They're all a shadow of things that are to come. They're a shadow of things that are to come. And so we celebrate them. But, the, but, as, but we don't necessarily, but they're not the, necessarily the thing. They're the thing that points us to the thing. They're the thing that points us 
to Christ. Why do we celebrate birthdays? We celebrate birthdays because it is a joy that this person came into the world and that and that will and we celebrate their coming into this world to be a part of the body of Christ. That is part of this journeying. This all the whatever our festival is. And and there's and and I guarantee there is somewhere in this season that we've been a part and that will continue to be a part. There will be a festival, a something, a, a, a celebration, a sabbath a, a, that that you will that you will miss. But and so what I want to remind us today is that in the living of these things that however we mark them that, that if we have to mark them in a different way, if we have to hold them up in a different way. You know, one of the things we're going to do at, Fall, at the church in Fall Rivers, we're going to have graduation Sunday. When we get back into worship, we're going to have a Sunday where everybody who's had a graduation, everybody who's had something, say, had a, had a passage that's happened in this time, we're going to bring them in and we're going to honor them and we're going to play pomp and circumstance and we're going to bring them forward, offer them blessings, offer them uh, opportunities. We're going to do this because we hold dear these passages, but it is our remember that these passages are not the thing. The passages are the are the what point us toward the thing. They are the only things that point us to the Christ. And that if we get so hung up on these, we we can actually unplug ourselves in the despair, in the despair of not having these things. When I was uh, when I when I was a, uh, a a young man, I graduated from high school early in order to go into the army, and uh, I graduated the the. Uh, the January of my senior year to, to join the army. Now, some things I was supposed to be be back on leave in order to kind of go to prom and do some of those sorts of things that those ritual things I was going to march with my class, all those sorts of things for as circumstance had it. I, I didn't make that I was I was held over for uh, things that were beyond my control and I, I never made that ritual. So I never get to march with my class at high school. I never get to go to the prom and I, like, you know, and I'm not I'm not telling you that to be like, <laughs> Like, feel bad for me. That's not the point. I'm over it. Trust me. It's probably all for the best. It, probably nothing good would have happened. Uh, it, it, but this whole, it is this whole thing of like, we can look at those losses of those moments as if they're somehow, you know, I never had this because of whatever it was, you know. But what we can say is what we do have is this enduring love of Christ. We have this enduring love of the one who made us that we may rejoice in. Maybe not in the ways that we think. Maybe not in the ways that we want to. But we, you know, that these words of Paul, we have died with Christ, the elemental spiritual forces of this world. Why, as though you still belong to the world, do we submit to its rules? And it's not to say these things aren't fun. They're fantastic. And they're right, but they're not the thing. They're the thing that points us to the thing. They're the thing that points us to joy and goodness and love and the one who made us. Good morning, Pam. So great to see you with us. So, so it is my hope this morning that you will find ways to mark the passages of these days, uh, bring them to church, rejoice with them when we gather, be a part of all of those things, be a part of it. Don't hold too much despair because all of these celebrations, the graduations, the things, the, the one-time events we believe we're ever going to get, they're all held in the, in the palm of the hands of the one who made us. They're all held in goodness and grace, and they are but a signpost pointing towards the very one who made us, who calls us, and who, who holds us dear in love and in grace. So don't lose connection in these times over this despair. Don't lose connection in these times of despair. It's such a temptation. I'm feeling it. We didn't have Easter for God's sake and, and together. Like that was a huge blow to me. We, we worshiped online, we gathered, but we were not together. We, we can get we, the despair of, of, the, of this human rule keeping and the loss of it not the thing it's the way to the thing it's the way to the thing that isn't even a thing christ jesus who offers us all expanse all love all good things all right so that is uh we are going to in that spirit we're going to sing sue this morning uh happy birthday so wherever you are wherever you are 
me, 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 figure out your, uh, your voice. And uh, so this is for uh, Susan. And if so, again, if you find out it's your birthday and you are, you are a part of here and you want to come, we will, I will sing to you as well. And we will all sing to you. So come. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan Alexis Nesmiento. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of us that have missed those those uh, those memorials and those moments that would point us towards the good things of life and these passages of growth and fullness. Happy birthday wondrous time but remember that it is not the thing it points us towards the thing and Christ Jesus holds you right now in the palm of his hand with love and peace and grace that has not abandoned you but is not but is right there alongside of you to use even these days for the building of the kingdom of God all right, friends, that is, I, I, that's our time together. Good morning, Amy. Hi, hello, Sandra. That is so great that you're here. Uh, we, will, uh, we will pick it up again tomorrow. So uh, we continue to join the journey. Uh, if there are others that uh, you think would benefit to journey with us, please uh, pass this along. Let them know. Um, offer them your uh, your encouragement uh again these two the two things i've invited you since day one that we can do through this thing the first be grateful for something every day find something to be grateful for hold on to it the second thing pick up a phone pick up a computer reach out to somebody else and check on them if you can manage to do these two things every day that will there is a there is sustainment in that that your love and your that uh, that that you are reaching out beyond yourself, and that you are finding something in your world that you can find thanks for, will stay keep you connected, and you will not be cut off from the head, uh, as as this letter from Colossians states. So, peace and grace, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. I'll hang out in the chat for a little while. If anybody's around and wants to uh, jibber jabber, uh, I will talk with you then. All right, bye, friends.